What happens when a skyscraper falls? Although it's not what we're discussing in this video, the answer is pretty clear, complete devastation. So how do we avoid this bleak fate? Well, science. These man-made giants are not just a simple achievement of the construction world, but instead an existing proof of how vast humans' imaginations are. Have you ever wondered why these skyscrapers don't simply blow over in the midst of being high structures that are in constant battle versus natural disasters and strong winds? What kind of technologies keep them standing in the middle of the cities? Let us dive into the amazing and innovative world of skyscraper engineering and the secrets behind its stability. The history of these sky behemoths started in the late 19th and 20th centuries. In this era, engineers were racking their brains on how to build tall structures while still ensuring their stability and safety. However, this problem was eventually solved thanks to the innovation of steel frame construction. This approach allowed them to create buildings that could handle more weight while at the same time reaching higher into the skies. Through the flexibility and strength of steel, they made a resilient backbone for these gigantic structures, which completely addressed the concern regarding handling enormous weight. And as these buildings reached higher points, the challenge against the wind became a dangerous factor. Wind applies strong forces on skyscrapers and engineers need to make sure structural failure doesn't occur. While the previous designs utilized basic wind-bracing systems, more concrete and calculated solutions were essential for these buildings reaching higher heights. The invention of wind tunnel testing during the 1960s helped the engineers in carefully studying the effects of wind on skyscraper models. This study began the development of wind-resistant designs that were more effective. Engineers started using aerodynamic shapes like rounded edges and tapered tops, which helped to minimize the wind pressure on skyscrapers. These inventions drastically improved the skyscraper's stability against windy climate. The modern skyscrapers you see these days utilize advanced structural systems to ensure their stability. One of the most common systems is steel frames, which is still the skeletal system of most buildings. They consistently build towering skyscrapers thanks to the high strength to weight ratio the steel offers. They're designed to constantly absorb and distribute weight which minimizes the chance of sudden collapse. In addition, some skyscrapers use reinforced concrete for more stability and to withstand compression forces efficiently. The steel and reinforced concrete is a great combination for skyscrapers to handle enormous weight over a long period. Moreover, a lot of skyscrapers use a center core protected by an outer framework. This core usually consists of utilities, stairwells, and even elevators, while on the other hand, the outer framework offers support to the exterior of the building. With these two coexisting, what connects them are the outrigger systems. They're the ones responsible for the distribution of loads and maintaining stability. Next is the foundation of skyscrapers. This is important for the stability of the buildings because it literally supports the overall weight of the structure while fighting against natural forces. There are several kinds of foundations used in the construction of skyscrapers. One example is pile foundations. These are deep foundations that pass the structure's weight to the strong layers of rocks below the ground. Piles are slender and long columns dug out of the ground which provide a stable foundation for the building. Another one is what we call caissons. These are watertight structures utilized for construction on a soft surface. They're sunk beneath the ground and filled with a lot of concrete, which creates a solid and stable base for the skyscraper. And lastly is mat foundations, also known as raft foundations. Mat foundations are massive concrete slabs that distribute the skyscraper's weight over a large area. They're commonly used when the ground soil is not capable of supporting pile foundations. Wind load is a primary concern when it comes to building high structures. Engineers utilize different techniques to reduce the application of wind-related vibration forces into skyscrapers. Enter the tuned mass dampers, or TMDs. These are large and movable masses put on the top of the building that could sway opposite the direction of the wind. This helps to minimize wind vibrations and ensure comfort of the people inside. Evidently, the shape of the skyscrapers can affect its wind resistance capability. Tapered tops, twisted designs, and round edges all result in reduction of applied wind pressure while minimizing the risk of oscillations and damage to the structure, or what we call vortex shedding. Some of these skyscrapers also have openings that allow the wind to go through, which helps in reducing the massive wind pressure on the building. So, in a nutshell, this design simply helps the stability of the skyscraper and prevents it from swaying too much in different directions. 
We all know the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa. This mega structure stands at a staggering height of 828 meters or 2,717 feet. Aside from its towering height, its stability is one of the achievements of modern advanced engineering. Burj Khalifa's unique Y-shaped floor plan gives a structural stability that's on another level. With its central core and wing walls, the distribution of the building's weight is handled while avoiding lateral forces. This skyscraper also uses what we call a buttressed system. This system is where the core is reinforced with supporting walls that spread outward. Through this, the ability of the structure to minimize swaying and maintain stability is enhanced. And most importantly, the spire that's located on the top of the Burj Khalifa reduces wind forces by consistently tapering off, which at the same time minimizes the chance of vortex shedding. Another good example is the Shanghai Tower in China. This engineering marvel stands tall at 632 meters or 2,073 feet. Its unique twisted design significantly minimizes wind load by disturbing wind patterns surrounding the building, which in return maintains its strong stability. The tower has a facade that's double-layered to further enhance this ability to disrupt wind pressure and at the same time provide insulation. This greatly helps to maintain a safe and comfortable interior area. Lastly, the tower's core consists of different amenities and acts as a skeletal foundation for the structure. The future that awaits the field of skyscraper engineering relies on the development of new construction techniques and discovery of innovative materials. Up to this date, the experts are constantly exploring new materials. This includes carbon fiber reinforced polymers. These kind of polymers offer top level strength and a much lighter weight compared to the traditional materials being used these days. This kind of advancement has the potential to change our understanding of skyscraper construction, which could result in taller and stronger buildings. Sustainability is also another critical focus in skyscraper engineering. Engineers nowadays try to incorporate green technologies like solar panels, rainwater harvesting systems, and wind turbines to help in the reduction of possible negative environmental effects that these giant structures have. Imagine a city where numerous sustainable skyscrapers not only help in environmental conservation, but also improve the living environment for the people. And of course, the most exciting development for these skyscrapers is the integration of smart technologies. Future smart buildings can use automation systems and sensors to optimize the usage of energy and enhance the privacy and security of the people residing. This kind of structure can also have the capability to offer real-time accurate data on the overall health of the building. With this, proactive maintenance and consistent monitoring will help ensure the stability will last for a longer period of time. Skyscrapers stand at the paramount of human innovations, challenging the harmony or balance between architectural creativity and engineering brilliance. From early steel frame construction to now common aerodynamic shapes, humans continue to surpass the limits of the skies. These man-made megastructures will continue to stand still in the future like our own commitment to pursuing engineering marvels. So the next time you go to the city and see the towering skyscrapers, remember this video. Remember the incredible engineering and science behind it. Do you have any thoughts on how a building can stand so tall without falling? What's your favorite skyscraper? Let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content, and we'll see you in the next one.